I was designing and building out my ultimate dream garage, I always knew I wanted to have some kind of a unique sign, whether it was like a neon sign, or in my case, this unique LED sign with remote and all these little extra features. I learned a lot while making this, and I'm gonna show you all the ins and outs in today's video. So without further ado, let's get into it. So I got my poster printed out, and I guess I'll just add some marker to connect these. This is the area I'm kind of worried about. Ultimately, originally I was just gonna go flat with the lighting behind it, but in order to get my curves and everything, I think I'm gonna go on its side. One of these bad boys. And let's thicken up these lines. Next step. I'm gonna adhere this poster to the MDF board so I have a template. I saw a cool technique where they used blue painter's tape, taped out the whole MDF board, then used spray adhesive to spray adhesive the poster to the tape, which makes it like a sticker. So let's see how that works. Let's give it a go. All right, now for a little uh, spray adhesive, and I think I'm gonna spray it on this, then I'll adhere that to that, and then uh, cut it down to some more manageable pieces, and then we'll cut her out. Start with uh, cutting those areas first and then cutting the rest of this. All right, now that I got my words all cut out, Time to take off my template and then sand them. Looking good. Okay, so next step is just give it kind of a light sanding and then any little touch up areas. Uh, and then we'll move on to the next step. All right, I'm excited because I have not used this Dremel setup where we turn it into a plunge router, so I'm gonna use some of my scraps to kind of practice on before I dive into the actual sign. I got two different size bits. I got a quarter inch and eighth inch. I might use the eighth inch on some of these little tighter areas just to be on the safe side, but we'll see how it goes. Let's get to it. So I did a couple test runs. I'm feeling pretty confident on this, so I need to give myself a general outline on the back where the the light's gonna go, because I'm gonna run into areas like this where like, do I come up and over and back? So I'm gonna give myself at least a guideline and then where my out point and then in point is gonna be. So let's do that. I don't know why I'm so nervous about this next step. Um, there's definitely some sketchy areas where it's really thin. But ultimately, I think if I just take it slow, and if I'm feeling like nervous, and I'll just stop, take a breather, reassess. But I'm just trying to pump myself up right now. I mean, ultimately, what, what's the worst that happens? I'll just have to cut another one out, I guess. So, let's get to it. I got my groove all the way through. I'm gonna come in and on the really fat parts, I'll use the quarter inch, because I'm using an eighth inch right now and just giving a little little wiggle so I get a little extra. I'm only at a maybe half the depth I need to be, so I actually am gonna give one more run a little deeper before I switch out my bit. I'm feeling good about it. All right, let's get back to it. So remember when I said if I came to any kind of like sketchy parts, I would slow down, take my time. 
Well, obviously I didn't take my own advice and right here I actually snapped it. So we got a little glue on it. It's holding pretty darn good, but let me show you the back side. So all of this is grooved out, ready to go for the lights. I did have, I think, one or two areas like here where I had to throw in some glue because this piece got a little sketchy and I had to glue it back in. Now we're on to the next phases. I'm gonna take the light and do kind of just like a rough, a rough sketch through. Make sure I have enough lighting because I kind of have a feeling that this 32 feet might not be enough. Well, good news, I have enough lighting. It all fits really good. I didn't want to push it all the way in because it's kind of a pain to get out once it's in there and I don't want a chance breaking anything. So I guess the next step, let's plug it in and just see what it looks like for a test run and then I'll primer it, paint it, let it fully dry and then we'll add the lights, like officially add the lights. Oh, blue. Oh, that looks cool already. All right. Give it a good old coat of primer. It'll probably need a couple coats, especially the sides, because MDF just likes to soak this stuff up. But then we'll be ready to give it a coat of black paint and uh, maybe some sanding in between. Let's get to it. I gave a quick sand in between the uh, coat of primer. Now it's time for a good old coat of paint. All right, so I'd be lying if I said I did it all with spray paint. I found that I actually needed to use some paint and primer to get in the nooks and crannies. Now we're on to the next step. Let's throw some lights in it. I honestly didn't think that one reel would make it all the way. Uh, so that's perfect that this is how it worked out with a little extra. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and tape off those areas using a little white duct tape. Hopefully in theory, this will be enough to block out the light so it'll just look like the conductor that's running to each one of the, the lights. So let's see how this works out. So the electrical tape ended up being my best bet because it had a little bit of stretch to it and I just went long ways with it multiple times until I can't see the lights coming through. So that's what I was going for. I was back and forth of whether I was gonna glue this down to the plexiglass, but because I have so many like moving parts, I think that's gonna get a little, a little crazy. So I'm gonna opt for doing mounting tape. I think this will also work out just in case if I ever have to replace the light, switch something out for any reason. Fingers crossed that never happens. But uh, let's do some mounting tape and then I'll attach it to the clear plexi. Now that the mounting tape's on it, it's time to start working on this plexiglass. I'm gonna drill some holes in the corners for the little spacer situation. So let's do that. Then I can mount that to this. Perfect. Oh yes, I'm excited. Okay, cool. Now let's just drill the other three. Well, we're almost finished here. So, got these drilled. Now, I think it's probably gonna be best if I put the spacers to the backer prior to adding the sign to the plexi. That way, I'll just be able to come, bop, put it down, and then attach it. Final steps. Oh, so excited about this. Mount the sign to the plexi, then mount the plexi to the backer board, and then hang it up, turn it on, and we're good to go. There it is. Oh, it already looks good just with the plexi. I'm pumped on this. Okay, so next step, to transfer it and put it on its backer. Ooh. Ooh, so good. Okay, so my game plan is I wanna hide these connectors behind the rulers. lot with the wires, so let's really hope that I didn't bend something. Okay, that's 
Snap good. <laughs> Well, there's good news and there's bad news. I have an extra spool because I only used one. Bad news is when I was putting this together and I cranked that wire, somehow I did something and only the first two letters light up and I just can't figure out what I did. So ultimately, I'm gonna have to pull all this off and rewire new lighting. But um, at least I learned what I was doing and yeah, so here goes. Round two of doing it all over again, I guess. So I did some surgery, took off the tape, and I figured out kind of what's happening here. There's a spot right here Boo! where it got pinched. Do I really want a chance to having this one spot that I'm always constantly messing with? No. So that's so why I'm glad I used the mounting tape instead of glue. So I'm gonna have to I'm not looking forward to this, but pop all this up and then rewire it all with this guy since I still have one left. And this time I'm going to be extremely careful with my ends and where they exit. <laughs> We're back in action. This is the round two, so the second set of lights. I learned a lot from this. I actually went around this with black electrical tape and then white. That helped cover the lighting. I don't know why I didn't do that first. I also drilled a hole through the plexi this time for the light rather than trying to crank it over. Also found out that you can cut the lighting. So I cut it at the end here so we don't have the end piece coming out. It works, it looks great. So now I just need to secure this all down like I did before and then plug it in, hang it, and we're back in action. Wow. Look at where we're at. Oh, I just love this sign. It looks amazing. Let's check out some of the other colors. Ooh. Yep. I could see having a lot of fun with this. And then the voice activated section of it. We're gonna definitely have a lot of fun with this sign. So, until next time friends, on another fun project or whatever it is that we get into. I'll see you next time.